The seemingly endless cycle continues. The Germans continue to creep closer and closer to the gates of Moscow. However, each step they take will be paid with blood. Our brave tank men continue to give the fascist hell on the ground, while the Stormovics pulverize their supply columns, bogged down in the mud. We will continue to grind them down and drive them back. We will ensure the Wehrmacht never sets foot in Moscow. Today, six of us will take off and protect our IL-2s, tasked with attacking German artillery positions not far behind the front lines. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to episode number 15 of our Battle of Moscow career. Today we are number two in a flight of six, and we are escorting a, another flight of IL-2s that are coming from that direction right there. We can kind of see them off in the distance heading this way. They are dropping flares, very barely visible, but as are we, we are communicating with them, and we should get the go-ahead to take off here momentarily. Make sure our aircraft is all hunky-dory. Today we are not going with gun pods. We just have the standard armament, which I think I prefer over the gun pods. The gun pods do make the aircraft rather sluggish and add quite a bit of drag. So I do think this is much better despite the uh, underwhelming firepower. Okay, flight lead is taking off. I am number two in line. Let's begin throttling up. Try to keep the nose of the MiG-3 nice and steady here on takeoff. Not necessarily a super easy task and we are rolling and rotate gear up okay there's flight lead up ahead where are those il 2s il 2s are almost directly ahead of us wow that was pretty good timing <laughs> and we can drop our mixture back so we are not boosting anymore looks like everyone is getting airborne here and see all the smoke off in the distance that is the direction we are heading towards the front lines and we can see here where we are going we are bombing or the il 2s anyway are bombing this position right there And we will all form up nicely and right above the IL-2s. It's a nice clear day. Apparently it's rather chilly, minus two degrees Celsius. Flying with my canopy open as I do like to do. Okay, we just got an update. Enemy fighters, northwest, range 8 kilometers. We were also just getting shot at by some anti-aircraft guns right there, bracketing that road on either side of it. And I saw a flag burst there for a second. Not sure where these enemy fighters are. They said to the northwest, but we'll see. There we go. Patrol for ground targets on your own. That's probably the IL-2s. Going to commence their attack. They are right under us. Uh, somewhere anyway. I've been really just sticking with my flight leader here. Got more anti-aircraft fire getting thrown up behind. Targets to the north, seven kilometers out. That's not good. Let's go ahead and start climbing up preemptively. Okay, there's the fighters. I see a whole swarm of them coming in hot. Throttle up. Blows up our radiator a little bit as well. Probably 20 some percent. Should be sufficient for our needs. Enemy fighters northwest, four kilometers. Yeah, I'm looking. Uh, 
That's a BF-109 right there. We got more aircraft up high. Those are MiGs. This is a 109. All right, here we go. Stick on them. Try to knock one out of the fight really fast. Come on. Have another aircraft up high. Another MiG. Perfect. We'll just stick on the six of this 109 and try to get some good shots into them. Tie them down while the IL-2s uh, attack their targets on the ground. It's like a BF-109F, probably an F-2. You can tell the difference between the F-2 and, say, the E-series by the wingtips. The F-series have the rounded wingtips opposed to the squares of the E's. Oh, shoot. Got on my six o'clock, shook him. All right, let's chase him down. There he is. He's flying away. Keep checking our six, make sure no other aircraft sneak up on us like that again. Have a MiG taking some shots at a 109 here. We'll go for him as well. May get a deflection shot here. A few hits. Holy cow, look at all that tracer. Uh, that was nuts. We're lucky we did not get hit. I did get a few hits on that 109, believe it or not. Obviously nothing critical as he is just flying normally. Lots of MiGs in the area. I'm, I'm going to kind of linger above. I don't want to risk a collision with a friendly. There we go. Come on, get him. Okay, he's off. I'm going in. My fellow uh, MiGs need to work on their aim, it would seem. And maybe so do I. It's deflection shots. Not my strong suit in the MiG. There we go. We have him here, though. Tore into him pretty good there. And is that one going down? I think so. We're breaking off. Climbing back up. I think that's a BF-109 F4, or F2, excuse me, going down. Is he still flying? Oh my goodness, I think he is. That is very impressive. Really looked like he was in a death dive there, but I guess he pulled out of it. Yep, there he is. That is very impressive. <laughs> really thought I had a, had a kill there. All right. Let's see. If anything, he's he's near death. 
Okay, we have a whole lot of aircraft over here as well. Wow, look at this dogfight that has developed. You know, I think that 109 is really struggling. He's probably going to go down. Let's head over here. This is where the IL-2s are. Make sure the IL-2s are okay. Look at that. That IL-2s going in, hitting some targets near the town. Awesome. We have another IL-2 diving in. Whole bunch of them rockets. Hey, it looks like we did a pretty good job of tying down those German fighters. Seems like the airspace around the Stromoviks is fairly clear. Do not see a German aircraft. Oh, wait a second. Up high. Yep, 109 on a MiG. Throttle up. Let's go get them. As clear as 6 o'clock. Looks like... Ooh, that kind of looks like it almost was a collision there. 109 is zooming up. Close our canopy. Not going to be able to keep up with this climb, obviously. It's okay. Take it over. And now we got him. And that is probably a German airfield right there. It's probably where these 109s took off from. Airspeed. 300 kilometers per hour. I'm going to be able to keep up with this guy here. Okay. That's fine. We'll just dive and gain some speed. Head back towards the town that we were hitting. Make sure the IL-2s are okay. That 109 is definitely a threat, but we'll just keep our eyes on him. Make sure he doesn't hurt the IL-2s. Who are attacking up here, I believe, right? Oh, they're right here. Able to avoid all of his shots, thankfully. That was rather close. Fire at him. Let him know we mean business. Hey, slotting in on his 6 o'clock. Not going to let you get away with that one. That easy, pal. Had a few hits on him. Obviously, he's leaking radiator fluid. Swing back around and head back towards the aisle twos. Got an aircraft zooming up. Another MiG. Okay, let's stop boosting before I bust my engine as well. This 109 is coming back around in front of us. May be able to get a killing blow here. Passed right in front of my guns. I don't think I actually got a hit there, however. One oh nine looks rather rough around the edges. Definitely seen better days. My main priority here, however, is the IL twos. Swing back around. It looks like the IL twos are finally starting to run out of ammo, so we'll have to stick around here too much longer. What the heck is that? That is a one oh nine coming up. Yep, definitely a BF one oh nine there. 6 o'clock is currently clear. And the IL-2s are beginning to return to base. What's this one shooting at? Another friendly MiG-3. Start boosting. So, so far we've damaged two 109s pretty badly. 
Neither of them have gone down, however. Maybe this will be the third one we damaged today. Doesn't go down. That was a 109 passing right alongside us. There's quite a few of them here. Gosh, this guy is all over the place. Squirming. Uh, keep up with this turn. Got a few hits. Wow, another looks like a fuel leak and a, a hit his radiator there. He is leaking radiator fluid. Oh boy, don't black out, don't black out. Where'd he go? I lost him. There he is, treetop level. There's another smoking 109 there. Okay, coming in, we are going really damn fast here. Okay, let's trim it out. I do not want to risk blacking out and then hitting the ground. Okay, we've lost consciousness. Oh gosh. This is long. Okay, we've regained it and we're pretty sick. All right. Hey, let's put some distance between us and the enemy there. Let's see, are the IL 2s still attacking? I think. Last I checked, they were running out of ammunition. They're probably on their way home. Thought that was a 109 on my tail for a second. Oh boy, we're woozy. You can hear Yuri's heavy breathing after that maneuver. Well, you know what? We tore up quite a few 109s. I'll take it. Machine gun fire over there. We're going pretty damn fast. 400 kilometers per hour here. That 109 is streaming. Obviously the German airfield here. One pass in and out, real fast. It's our speed, passing 500. We are going extremely quickly. It's like another MiG has... Oh, this guy has his gear down? <laughs> Oh, wow, it's crazy how how fast we're currently going. Where's that other one? There he is. Trying to land your crippled aircraft. It's going so fast, it's hard to line up a shot. I'm also worried about the AAA defenses really opening up and uh, finishing me off. However, I think this 109 is presenting a pretty good profile now. We're just gonna see what we can do here. Looking good. If anything, uh, we're wasting a lot of German fuel. Is that one going down? There we go, crash. <laughs> uh, okay, well now I'm now I'm bloodthirsty. Let's see what we can do about this one here. Let's slow down. Lost him. Did he crash as well? We're going to go with it. We need to go home. If I don't see him in like five seconds, we're leaving. Nope, doesn't look like it. See you later.
All right, let's get out of here. Time to skedaddle. Another well, one on there. He is. There's one of them streaming fuel anyway. All right, heading zero four zero. Let's get back home. Regroup with our IL twos. Luckily, we weren't hit there, <laughs> but uh, it's hard to resist uh, strafing some of those guys, some of those anti-aircraft gunners there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and head on home. Overall, uh, pretty good flight. Damaged quite a few BF-109s, and um, the bombers seemed relatively protected. Kept those pesky fighters away from them. So, Okay, we have a bit of anti-aircraft fire going off over here. I think those are from, yeah, those same positions that were along the road there. Um, can't make out what they are, but let's say hello, shall we? High speed pass. Go for one of these. Oh, we got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw uh, them abandoning one of the flat guns as well. There we go. Looks like these are friendlies here. M MIGs. Yep, definitely MIGs. Just patrolling around. Got more anti-aircraft fire up ahead. Well, we're, we're heading 030. This is the route we were supposed to take to get back home with the IL-2, so I'm thinking if I keep flying on this heading, I'll eventually stumble across the IL-2s that are returning back to Vlasianovo. Um, we are going to so step around these uh, anti-aircraft positions on the road, however. We'll head north for a bit. I'd rather not uh, die at this point. I've been playing rather risky uh, today. I'm getting a little cocky. And I'd rather not get... Uh, vibe checked by a German anti-aircraft gunner right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll fly on and I'll keep you all updated. Well, we just received the radio message that the main objective is completed, so that means the IL-2s have made it back home. That is their home airfield up ahead, I believe, just right on my crosshair and we hear they are going in for landing my home airfield is off to the left somewhere out here so we should be able to find it soon i have not come across really any friendlies besides those ones that were circling around the uh anti-aircraft batteries um but we'll go ahead and oh maybe that's it right there actually Yep, that's probably it right there. So we'll prepare for landing, and I will uh, let you know when we're a little closer to our home airfield. Well, here are the IL-2s. We can see them all with their lights on. One has already landed there. It looks like all six of them have returned. Uh, that one, however, only has one of his nav lights on. It only has his red light on. I wonder if he's pretty heavily damaged. Only one of them is uh, working. That's actually pretty cool. But here they are. Hello, comrades. Glad you all made it back home. It looks like all of them did. See how many of my MiG-3 comrades made it back home in one piece. It's been a while since I've seen them, so it's a bit worrisome. And we'll just land on this runway right here. Not too picky about it. Sh shoot off a flare. Let them all know we have arrived. Lights are on. There we go. Gear down. There we go. Dropping off speed now. And go. The airfield has shot off a flare. Okay, once we pass this forest here, I'll drop my flaps. I don't want to do it before. Yep, flaps down. Oh boy, we are rather high here. Nice and easy. 
Okay. I'm gonna be careful. And yeah, gosh. Oh boy, that was a little rougher than normal actually. But we're down okay. I was practicing landing this plane and it is just, it is a difficult plane to land. That's for sure. At least land smoothly, but we are down. And that's what really matters. No damage. We're gonna taxi off and uh, of course you all know, I'll see you all for the debrief. Well, here we are, mission accomplished once again. This was quite a long mission, 40 minutes and 59 seconds. In the end, we destroyed two enemy aircraft and also one AAA gun, which was quite exciting, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and finish up the mission and see how the rest of our comrades did. Um, I have a feeling not all of them made it back home on this one. There were a lot of 109s out there. And uh, it seems like most of the IL-2s actually made it home as well. So we're gonna get uh, aircraft kill bonuses as per usual here and yeah looks like we had lost quite a few actually three men went down in the end Oleg here actually managed to shoot down uh, probably a 109 shot down a light aircraft but we lost our flight leader Boris and uh, Matevi uh, right here all three of them were killed in action well, that is rather unfortunate not a very good uh, mission in regards to attrition well, that's all I really have for today. I hope you all enjoyed the mission. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it does really help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all on the next one.